I'm currently at Home Depot getting some supplies to finish up the yurt and to make it habitable. I um, wanted to thank Sheila for your generous donation. Um, it is helping me to basically finish the yurt and make it habitable because I have to move there today. Anyhow, I picked up this um, shovel for $6, believe it or not. And we're going to be using that to put dirt around the yurt as well as get dirt for various projects to make mud and whatnot. I was looking at lighting options um, and contemplating the situation because energy is going to be an issue. Recharging things. Um, the only way I'll really have to recharge things is my vehicle. But that means running it, which means using gas, which means money. So I've been looking at alternatives and... Um, just saw this really cool light. This is um, $20. It's a new task light. It's um, LED, believe it or not. And it has like, I think, more than 300 lumens. Um, it says it's um, 360 lumens in bright mode. Watch how bright this thing is. That is like super, super bright. Look at that. Look how bright it is. Light up that back area there. But um, the reason this is significant is... Um, this one light would light up the whole yurt and it is rechargeable it uses um lithium ion battery inside but you have to recharge it through like usb port or i think an adapter which means it could conceivably be charged off a battery pack or a um the vehicle while you're running it so that's an option but it's twenty dollars Instead, I um, have opted for this cheaper version here. This is, um, I don't know how bright it is. I wasn't able to see how bright this is. But it's got um, two, four, five, five, um, was that LEDs, supposedly bright LEDs, and it runs off batteries. And the reason I opted for this is this packet of two of them only cost um, $10. So, I'm estimating that each LED gives off 10 lumens, so that's 50 lumens each. So I have 100 lumen for this versus 300 something for this. So this is obviously not going to be that bright. But um, after being caught out in the yurt several days here in the dark, I think this will be uh, something that's going to be much appreciated by me having light out there. And the fact that it runs off um, AAA batteries means that I can use batteries and eventually switch to rechargeable batteries. And maybe a small little solar panel to charge those batteries to use in this unit. So the plan is to use these as um, electronic lights. But also I'm going to be picking up some um, candles. And the reason for candles is they're obviously very cheap. We're going back to primitive technology. They do not require recharging. They do not require anything, really, other than a match. So I'm going to be um, using candles to light up the yurt and having these um, electronic lights as backup. All right, Sheila, I just wanted to take a moment to show you what your um, generous donation is buying. Your $25 gift card to Home Depot is going to allow me to install some windows with um, mosquito netting. Um, some lights. I just need to pick up some batteries from um, Dollar Tree <clears throat> and a shovel so I can actually do some more projects with mud if I can get enough dirt and catch the rain. I'm also going to use this to seal up the bottom of the yurt by digging all around and putting the dirt on the side so that the bugs and stuff don't come in. So with, with these additions I think yurt 2.0 once I get the um, stuff finished will be habitable, which is actually very good timing considering that I am moving out today of the apartment and will be completely out by tomorrow. So um, the yurt will actually be ready 